So it's September 29th, and what that means is uh, lobster season is two days away. Um, I have never lobstered before, and this is going to be my first time. So I've been gathering a bunch of info and equipment and stuff like that, so I figured you guys could learn from what I've spent a bunch of time doing. Maybe uh, some first-timers or, I don't know, I probably won't help the avid guys, but we could try. So here's what I've learned. This right here is probably the most important piece of equipment next to the hoop net. This is your lobster gauge. Legal lobster down here, three and a quarter. Um, every angler on the boat needs to have one of these. Can't just have one per boat, apparently. So that's number one. They run about three ninety five. dollars Could probably make one out of scrap metal if you can do that. Okay, second, we have the buoy, rope, and hoop net. So basically, the hoop net, uh, this right here is an Ambush XL. It's got a 36-inch bottom ring, 20-inch top ring. And you can see three dimensionally, it's cone shaped. So the lobster don't fall out when you pull it up. Some are flat, some are cages, but uh, this is what I ended up getting. And I went with six of these. And this top float right here floats on a surface connected to your cage. And uh, you pull it up via that rope. So literally sits down there like this, your bait goes either in this pouch or in the bait cage I'm gonna show you next. So, this is a bait cage. Um, lobster aren't the only thing down there. Apparently, there's sharks, stingrays, a bunch of other bottom dwellers. Um, not that sharks are primarily bottom dwellers, but cage opens up, food goes inside, lock the cage, and then zip tie the cage to the bottom of the hoop net. So I've been told, apparently that's the best way to do it. Uh, that cage is a Promar vinyl wrapped wire bait cage. Last but not least, you got a standard six inch light stick, snapping glow stick. Um, Non-toxic is best since it's going in the ocean. Promar makes these as well, apparently. Um, this is not a Promar commercial, they give me zero money. So you can either take the light stick and zip tie it to your buoy like this, or what I've been told is it's best to slip these inside a one gallon water jug or a milk jug, obviously emptied and cleaned out, and then zip tie that to the buoy. And the milk jug, the glow stick inside the milk jug radiates the light, so you'll be able to see it a lot better. So that's about it for the mandatory gear. Um, I should mention you guys need gloves, that helps a lot too. But um, as far as the standards go, I wanted to, and the regulations, I wanted to let you know it's seven lobster per angler, um, five hoop nets per angler, or if your boat has two anglers or, or more, the boat's limited to 10 hoop nets. So seven lobster a piece, the head has to be three and a quarter, you need to measure it with your tool, and uh, no more than um, 10 hoop nets per boat. And I think that's about it. So. I'm going to try to make another video of the actual opening night and uh, come back and stay posted. Thanks for watching.